Hello, 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 it's Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is to share all the layouts that I completed in the month of February 2020. Each one of these has a process video that went live on my YouTube channel in February. I will tell you the date because to be honest, I don't have the time to put all the links listed below to each one of these videos. So I will tell you the date so that if any one of these spark just a little bit of interest and you would like to scrap lift it or you just want to see or know a little bit more details of how I put the layouts together or some of my dimensions and so forth because I do provide that in a lot of my layouts. All right, let's get started. This first one here I created for Let's Get Messy Wednesday. And this was posted, I've got my calendar in on my other hand, so I'm going to do this one-handed. All right, this was posted February the 5th over at Scrappin' On The Go. If you're new to my channel, I'll have the link listed below, all right? And this was for my art journal book and these are stamps here and I have chipboard pieces acetate piece and word letters here all right these next six layouts I posted February 7th and I've been enjoying the workshops from close to my heart because I do lose my mojo so that makes it easy and especially with these die cuts I don't have to get out my Cricut and use my die cut, even though that's a goal for 2020 that I at least use my Cricut once a month. All right, off to this. All right, this is a single page right here. Guess what? I even bought a second um, set of this paper because I love the B side or the A side as much as the B side. So this would be the B side. So this would be the A side. So anyway, so that's layout number one. Layout number two is a double spread layout. I got it in camera here, but I'll do it one at a time. So there's one. I still got to do my journaling. Remember to document who's in the photograph, where you were at, the date, okay? And then if you want to tell some funny story, you can and do additional journaling on the back on a piece of paper if you want okay I do my journaling off camera guys I just get nervous in front of the camera and my handwriting is not that beautiful and if there's not spots where I can do journaling on my layouts I will do it in the back if it requires it sometimes my title tells enough but I do make sure that I write the date and who's in the photographs this is Dolly, this is Becky, not looking at their best because this is the third day of a scrapbook retreat and we're all tired. Okay, this is a single page layout and this is with my friend Miranda and Fran that were at that same scrappy retreat and we went to dinner and of course we asked others if they wanted to come join but they didn't they wanted to stay in scrap lift and you can tell we went early too and there is a hidden story behind that you'll have to go to my video um february 7th all right this is a double spread layout of my little guy's birthday using that kit from close to my heart and yes it's in pink it's a okay guys you can document especially something like this a birthday celebration using whatever colors you want no matter male or female adult or children in your layout so that's page one of this double spread layout and here i have journaling spots right there that will... all right this layout here is for Stamp With Me, a new collaboration that started, and this was posted February 12th. We're posting on the second Tuesday and fourth Tuesday, not Tuesday, the second Wednesday and fourth Wednesday of the month. I am definitely posting on the second Wednesday of every month. The end of the month gets a little tough for me, but I will do my best. Um, sometimes if I don't overcommit, guess what? I always end up doing more. But when I overcommit, 
then I end up doing less. Isn't that strange how that works? But anyway, so here I use three different ways of stamps. This is a rubber stamp. This is where I take out alpha words, spell out U and stamp, and then this is a flower and I watercolored in it. So you have to go check out that video posted February 12th. All right, this layout is for Everyday Inspiration. It was posted February 15th. This is where I used my Cricut and from the Cricut Design site. And I backed it with papers. I've got splatters and I tell the story of behind this photograph. Of course, my title, I'm sure you can get a hint. It says Sick Chick. All right. All right, this is a double spread layout for Multi-Photo Monday. Yes, you see a single, but it's a double, so I have three photographs that I'm documenting. This is one of those projects that is different for me, not this style at all right here. Oops, look at, see? Make sure, even on thickers, that you glue them down. I'm gonna have to go back and glue them. See, they don't make the adhesive strong enough. Oh. And I normally remember to do that. Obviously, I didn't here. All right, now to set that aside. Back to this. So, generally, if I have a design like this and I'm doing a double spread, I'm going to have a bulk of this paper on the second layout or a strip going down this way or something. Okay, but guess what? I needed something to spark my creativity, which means I have to do something that is out of the ordinary for me to get my juices going. I was in a bad mojo loss and still in the month, I mean, this is the month of February. Um, and so it put me behind. Normally I am two to four weeks ahead of myself for videos. So like this is the end of February. I normally have all my March done. I don't. I have lost my mojo. I think it's because I've started a new job and for the next six months I am in training, learning. I have a lot of studying to do and so forth for this new job and position. I just want to put behind tell you explain a little bit I have never done a double spread or it's been very very rare that this side would be so different than this side I do bring in the elements from that page so I bring in that pattern paper and put it there and I bring in this banner and put it here but see normally I would have made sure this banner went across but I'm making it go down I'm glad I did it. It's not my favorite at all. I love this. I got stuck up in here, but again, I'm wanting to use my product and use them up. I needed to tell a date and so forth. I love how this all is and everything, but even when this was blank up here, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't know what to do, but it's okay. I'm not throwing it away. It's just something different and look at look I did these little streamers out of washi or um, not washi tape uh, tissue paper so you need to go check that out that was posted February 17th all right this was created for the collective this was posted February 19th the idea behind here is if you have a grab box warehouse from some um, collection manufacturer or you put your own together that you can work out of all year or if that's too much that's overwhelming break it down into quarters and it's just another way to get your um, products used that is in with your collection of stuff instead of saying stash right but it is stash in your stash and you just want to get it used up it's bothering you it's like i've had this in here or it can even be new i want to use it so this is how i'm going to get it used so for me is several different collections from maggie holmes with a few of the crepe paper which is all from the same manufacturer and whatever embellishments that i had now i had 36 sheets of paper from maggie holmes in probably or from crate paper but probably 25 is strictly all Maggie Holmes design but where I was weak in was my ephemera okay I had three sheets four sheets of chipboard not 
and I have a sticker book but I didn't have any puffy stickers and I like to have all these different textures and layers thickness of embellishments so it's okay when you put your grab box together to bring in some other manufacturers that will work with that collection so my focus was using all that paper and stuff up so that's what I'm going to work out of all year to post for the collective all right so go back and this would be February 19th we post on the third Wednesday of the month the next three layouts is for Mini Kit Monday. That is a collaboration that I will never come off of. Um, so we are going to do it when we're in the, our 80s. Right, girls? Or right, ladies? We're all ladies, okay? So that is with Becky, Daisy, Kathy, Shannon, Tracy, and myself. And then we um, do invite guests to post the same time we post in the month, which is really easy, right? on Mondays. All right, this was posted Monday, February 10th. I used this sketch. Our, each one of us ladies take a month to host, and, and month of February was Daisy, and she provided us some sketches if we wanted to use that as an inspiration piece and a recipe. So you'll see that in each of the videos. So for this layout, I use that sketch from Blueprints, and that is my layout. And you will need to go check it out to see who are the people in the story behind the photograph. February 10th. February the 17th. Layout number two for Mini Kit Monday. That's the sketch that I selected that was provided. That's the layout. February 24th. This is layout number three. I need to tell you something. I'm not sure if this it's supposed to be posted February 24th, but these next two layouts, I completed, filmed, edited, and did the voiceover. The day that I was supposed to uplift these, my computer crashed, which is very sad. This will make like the third year that I've had computer problems. I thought last year would have been it. So last year, about this same time. So someone likes to hack me or whatever the first part of the year. But last year, I also had problems with YouTube and all the updates and stuff, and that threw me behind um, a week. But last year, when I had trouble with my computer crashing, it was more because of the software update. And I tried everything, and my lovely friends from Mini Kit Monday, and my friend Miranda, everybody was trying to help me. I mean, this is an awesome community, um, giving me ideas. And I ended up just having to reload all my software and everything. But last year, it wasn't too bad because everything was uploaded. I just couldn't do any future ones. Well, this month of February... Like I said, these didn't get uploaded. My computer is, I tried everything for a week. So some of you are wondering why they haven't seen much on my channel the last two weeks or haven't seen me talking much on Facebook. And also this is affecting the fact that I am a close to my heart consultant and I can't do anything. Once in a while I get on my husband's computer when he doesn't have it and try to put a thumbs up or answer here or there. I am, after two weeks now, hopefully I will get my computer back. They're trying one more thing, and if not, Dolly's gonna have to reload everything, and these two videos may be lost. That was originally supposed to be posted February 24th. If it's not lost, hopefully if I get my computer back, it'll go up. If not, it'll go up late. I'll let you guys all know. So that is layout number three for Mini Kit Monday. Really, really love how this one turned out. And all right, this final layout is for off the board, and we post on the last Wednesday of each month. And what the idea, the concept is you take something from your Pinterest account that sparked an interest one day that's that you pinned but you've never scrap lifted now 
This is very easy. This is nothing new type of design, but I chose this to show you that you can take these old basic design elements that have been around for years and put it your new twist or the put a twist on it with the new way of scrapbooking and that revolves and changes all the time. So one of the big things to do is add, use stencils and add mixed media, is, which is what I did here. This soccer ball that is these together was from a Kaiser craft paper that I fussy cut out and backed on um, black cardstock. This concludes my layout share of the projects that I completed in February 2020. I appreciate you all. Give me a thumbs up. That helps bring traffic to my channel, which inspires me to keep doing videos to inspire you to scrapbook your memories in a fun, creative way. Here is my contact information. I am a consultant for Close to My Heart, and I will have the link listed below. Have a fabulous day. Bye.